Hey everyone, it's me Jacob again, and I'm going to be talking to you about another board game. This one today is one of the quickest games that we have in our entire catalog. It is Five Minute Dungeon, and it's a ton of fun. Let's get into it. Now, once you open the box, you're going to get your rule sheet. It's a little short, and this game can have a couple more questions that you might need. So if you go into the rule sheet, you can always... Ooh, Go online to their website, they show you how to play in a video. It can be super helpful because once you get going in this game, there's not a lot of time to check the rules. It is a game that takes place entirely within five minutes. You're then going to have some boss cards that go from Baby Barbarian to Zola the Gorgon to the Grime Reaper, freaking Dragon, and the Dungeon Master. Finally, you're also going to get different player cards, such as Ninja or Thief, Barbarian or Gladiator, Ranger or Huntress, Valkyrie, Paladin, Wizard, and Sorceress. Finally, there are a bunch of these different cards, which we'll get into in a little bit. The one thing that is, in th that is not in this box that you will need to play is a timer. Now. Five Minute Dungeon does have a free app timer in the in the Android and Apple App Store. The instructions on where to get that on your device can be found in the instruction manual. If you don't want to download an extra app, that's totally okay. Just put five minutes on a timer or on your phone because you are going to have to get this whole game wrapped up within five minutes. So once you start to play, the game gets pretty quick. And the thing I like most about it is, unlike a lot of games or board games that you have, this one, instead of pitching all of the players against each other, has them work together as a team. If you sit down to play with four of your friends, if you sit down to play with your mom and your dad, instead of one player losing and one, some players losing and one player winning, you all win as a team or you all lose as a team. So the pressure is on to make sure you and the rest of your team can come out of this five minute dungeon victor victoriously. You're also gonna get these different door cards. Now hold me. On these, on these cards and on the boss cards are going to be different markers. These markers correspond to some of these cards. Once the game gets going, you and your players are going to have your draw pile and your discard pile, and as quickly as you can, there are no turns in this game. You're going to have to lay down all of the matching cards in order to defeat the boss or the door challenge that stands in your way. Look through the instruction manual. This is one of the ones that I highly recommend reading through the whole thing before you sit down to play. Otherwise, you're gonna have a pretty hard time. Now, this game is open for two players to five players. You get capped off at five players because that is how many different player mats that you have. So, no more than five, but you can just start with only two players. Remember, you're playing together. At the end of the day, you have to defeat the evil dungeon master and all of the bosses that stand in your way so you can become a hero of the five minute dungeon. That's all I have for this board game. Check it out, it's a ton of fun, super quick game. You can get a whole bunch of different plays in this. And because at the end of the day, all of the different bosses or door cards get randomized, there's a ton of replay value. No two games are going to be exactly the same. Each one is going to be a quick race to the finish to see if you and your, and your fellow dungeon party members can get to the end of the dungeon before time runs out. That's all I have for you today. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, y'all have a great day. Thanks, bye.